Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. We're um, doing a part two of our testing article. The first one was a throughput test, and that's how much data can we cram through this Ubiquiti Edge router. And now we're moving on to something called a performance test or something called an SLA, Service Level Acceptance Testing. And in this case, uh, we're going to start from scratch, just so everybody's on the same page, in case you haven't seen the first video, and I'll leave that link in the article if you have not seen it. This is a uh, kind of step one. You take the two OptiViews, you put them back to back with a cable, and you test your cables, just to make sure the cables are doing what they're supposed to do. Older cables, frayed cables, cables with missing pins, all that kind of jazz will be vetted out with this simple test. So you put them back to back, you give them both a static IP if you have to. Some devices automatically figure out their IPs and you run your test. So in this case, uh, we're not trying to put a gig through the routers. We know they're not going to do a gig. In this case, we settle for 150 meg. The client that I'm testing for only has a 100 megabit link that this router will be on. So 150 is plenty. Uh, the other thing this is different compared to the actual throughput test was we're able to choose the frame sizes and in the previous test it was just called a sweep and it was kind of preset and it went through packet sizes 64 through 15 18 bytes in this case I chose 1024 and 15 18 just as kind of a, a range or a, a random average of packet sizes that would go through it and off we go to the races well as you can see everything worked great and this is just testing the cable right no router yet just just the cable back to back test uh, and everything works great so that's a good thing then we move on to our second test which is actually connecting it to the router and now we've got our two different subnets so we have to reconfigure one of the opti views to actually be on a different subnet and the first opti view to have a default gateway and that's what we've done here now, something that people tend to bring up when you do performance testing is, hey, what about the ports? Does it matter if they're side by side, that kind of thing? Well, you can play with that all you like. Well, now, after our first test, you can see we've got our upstream and downstream tests because the OptiView will do it both ways, not round trip wise. And you'll see it passes pretty good and no frame loss. Latency is good. We're looking at the average here. And then lastly, jitter, right? Jitter is going to affect all your latent sensitive apps, your video, your audio, some security, screen sharing, all that kind of jazz. So that's routing. Now, the second test we want to do with the same router is enable NAT, so network address translation. This is the screen from the actual uh, box, the router, the Ubiquiti router. And as you can see, I'm just allowing uh, Masquerade is kind of your, your NAT thing, right? It's saying that you want to do them all and you want all protocols, that sort of thing. It's pretty straightforward. And there's our results when we turn NAT on. And as you can see, it still passes. But if we look a little closer, the frame loss, we've started losing some packets, right? Uh, it's not the end of the world. It's just something we need to know. The latency is still pretty good, right? less than one millisecond and the jitter has just creeped up a little bit but it's nowhere close to even one millisecond so this is why we do this SLA type testing we want to know when we put the data through what is the quality of the packets right how many of you lost what's the delay which is latency and jitter jitter is that time between the packets right so we want to make sure we can measure that as well so there you go so it passed our tests and our client requirements have a good day bye for now